Ugh, it's so cold all of a sudden. Is this snow that's falling? Even the cage has varying weather, it seems. to see such a beautiful sight. Mama is truly touched. The fifth weapon should be here, as well as the fifth fragment. Now, let's head for the Dark Scarecrow. is so deep, he cannot see the bottom. The man produces his trusty hand axe from within a deep pocket. The path beneath him precarious. Maintaining his balance is a matter of life and death. Once he moves past the danger, he again makes for the peak. Before he realizes it, the land around him is bathed in moonlight. The man knows the mountain is more dangerous at night. Yet it still holds for him a kind of wondrous charm. He does not fear this place. Instead, he trusts in his strength and experience. Suddenly, the steely glint of animal eyes glimmer all around him. Think you can stop me? Ha!
calm confronts a pack of wolves. Don't run. Don't turn away. Don't look them in the eye. The final war sounds. After fending off the wolves, the man renews his trek. No person has ever reached the summit of the mountain he now climbs. Yet he does not fear, for he has conquered many peaks long thought impossible. He forever seeks the line between life and death within the harshest environments. This pursuit is his entire reason for living. don't touch the ground. Those dark foes feel the cold at all. Are you cold, child? Why, you don't even have mittens. Well then, come here and let Mama warm you up. All right then. Mama will be quiet. His daughter had given it to him before he started his climb. He fishes in his deep pocket once more and produces a handmade charm. The oddly shaped decoration seems to warm the man from somewhere deep inside.
having risen to his feet, the man's legs are filled with renewed strength. Halfway up the mountain, he comes across a frozen lake. The corpse on the ground wears the attire of a mountaineer. And its regrets suddenly take form as a ghost and spread a terrible darkness. sees a note on the ground next to the body. It is an apology to the mountaineer's family. It spells out his regret at ever attempting his climb. The note is written in a cramped, unsteady hand. Perhaps it is due to cold. Perhaps to grief. to slip on the snow now. This is turning into a proper blizzard. We should hurry. It's trying to tell us something. My, but that was close. Be sure to take it slowly and watch your step, okay? I see another scarecrow. That's the third one. Let's get this done. Can conquer this. The mountain 
whispers encouraging words to himself. Did you leave us? Once we restore the next memory, we can leave this snowy area. It's pretty, but it makes it hard to see or keep your balance. No matter how lovely it is, 
I wouldn't want to be out here for too long. Oh dear. It's a wrap. Will we be all right? to get home safely. A lonely house, illuminated by a dim light, sits in a forest of deep snow. about to be brought into the world. The man is in darkness. Pain courses through a body that struggles to follow the orders of its mind. With each movement he makes, his arms and legs grow heavier. As the cold sets into his bones, he comes to a sudden realization. Ah, oh, I see. I am already gone. He fumbles frozen, unfeeling fingers into his pocket one last time. The charm from his daughter still retains a tiny coal of warmth. With the sensation of his family at his fingertips, he slowly 
closes his eyes. His family was an illusion. No matter how strong we are, we cannot live alone. That man's story was so terribly sad. Let's go. We have a final fragment to reclaim. 